Very foreign correspondent Calvin Kahn goes down under in a series of special reports. The true stories, the hard facts and the reality of Australia today. Melbourne strands are amongst the best in the world. They're clean, they're always on time and they're 100% safe. But sadly, this entire delicate system would fall apart if it wasn't for one man, the ticket inspector. Join me as I go undercover. Hello, buddies. We're just doing some security checks before everybody gets on the tram. Can you please put your mobile phones in there? Any other metal objects? You must have traveled on airplanes and trams before, right? Yeah. yeah. Can I see if you have any belt, please? You have any belt, please? Put your wallets in there as well. Do you, are you carrying any fruit? No. You're carrying any fruit? No. Have you been on a farm in the last three months? No. Have you traveled to South Africa in the last three months? No. Have you eaten any food or meat from the UK? Yeah, are you sure about that? No. You hesitated, mate? I don't know. Are you sure? Are you okay? Yeah, because when you, we don't want you to take your diseases on the next stop. You need to board alphabetically, okay? Uh, so, what is your name, please? Katie. Okay, Katie, you will be about middle of the row. And your name? Malu. Sorry? Malu. Malu, you will be uh, K K L M. You will be after Katie. You? Catherine. Catherine, you will be... Uh, you will have to work it out with Katie. <laughs> Mia, okay, we will be somewhere over there as well. What is your name? Vanessa. Vanessa, you'll be right down the end, Vanessa. <laughs> Excuse me, buddy. You're not allowed to listen to music on the tram. You can't listen to music on the tram. You're disturbing the other passengers, okay? Sorry? You're disturbing the other passengers, mate. Okay? Because the music is very loud, buddy. Also, can you take the glasses off? People are very afraid that you are looking at them. Are you looking at other passengers, mate? You're not allowed to look at other passengers, mate. Please take the music out, mate. You are disturbing the other pa Please, buddy. I don't know how long you have been in the country, but I'm telling you right now, buddy. I've been here six years, and no, I've never buddy, heard I am very this before. I am Aussie, mate. Okay, I'm telling you. I don't care if you're Aussie or not. Listen, buddy. Is, there, hey, is please, there anywhere on the... Please don't raise your voice, buddy. You tell me where is it. Okay, I'm just, I'm just telling you right now, buddy. This is the rules. Thank you. Whilst most Melbournians play by the rules, there is always a minority of people who refuse to buy a ticket. That is why it is a sworn duty of every ticket inspector to uphold the law. So you can I see some tickets, thanks. This, uh, this isn't validated. I know I haven't been on yet. Oh, of course, that's a likely excuse, isn't it? Tickets. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is not validated. You can't step on the tram unless it's valid, mate. Why can you buy one from 7-Eleven? You need to buy a valid ticket, mate. So how do you buy Excuse one? me, buddy. Can you please remove your glasses? You're looking quite suspicious. <laughs> okay? Right, now, have you... Why You've been you buy, very why, aggressive. Why can you buy a ticket from 7-Eleven? Sorry, what was that? Why can you buy a ticket? You're saying, I, you're saying I'm from 7-Eleven, are you? <laughs> That's a little bit racist, buddy. That's a little bit racist, my friend. We don't want people like you screaming on our trams, okay? Please don't, please don't, don't raise your voice. Excuse me. <laughs> please don't talk to the other passengers. You're scary. You are, you're, a, you're offending everybody else, mate. She's not allowed to talk to she, well, she look at everybody. She's very scared of no, her. I don't think they are all very scared of you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please don't harass the other passengers, mate. I'm not harassing them. I've travelled on the trams all day and I can honestly conclude that Australians are a bunch of freeloading cheapskates. How do you know? Because Calvin Khan told you so.